Mullen will be anglicised as mullen. That literally means like a mill. Mullach means a hill. Yeah, like mullachida will be malahide. Rah will be a circular fort. And that would be anglicised as a rath. And there's lots of raths um, all around Ireland. Rathcarn, Rathcool. I don't know if I just made that up, but it sounds like a real place name. Um, Ra Rahini. There you go. So <laughs> as you say it to yourself, you might realise um, the different places around you and what they mean. Rua, which is anglicised as ro, would be red. And then like if something had bon in it, it might be anglicised as ba. W N Bon, that means white, and then there'd be Dove, um, like Dublin, the place name actually comes from Dove Lynn, which means black pool. So that's just a few colours that might be in, in place names as well. Shan means old, so Shan Kill is a place that's Shan plus Kill, which I told you meant church. What is Shan Kill? The old church. Shleev means a mountain. So if we had um, Schlieve Ro in English, that would say like Schlieve Rua Oscalia, which is the original, and that would be the red mountain. Tra, that's a, that's a commonly used one as well in Irish. Tra, that's uh, a beach or a strand. So like we've like Tra Lee, which is Tra Lee, um, Bohern and Tra, Tra, can't think of any other Tra's. Tra, Tra Lee, Tra, Tra Moor, Tra Moor, Tra Moor. See, once you start thinking about it, they just come to you and you realise. Um, yeah, I'm having a great time here, to be honest. I really love etymology and place names and all that kind of stuff, because of course I do, that's why. Um, what else? Um, well, if you're curious about a place name, just Google it, because even on Wikipedia, they quite often have the Irish place name, and then in brackets, they'd have the Irish, and they'd have it explained. So it's really easy to come across this information, and it's really nice to know it. But sometimes the place names in English, like I can't even imagine how you'd spell them, like Karen Tuchel, or... Um, Comignol, like when you spell them in the Irish, it makes sense. But when, when it's in English, like it's really hard to get your head around what it could possibly mean or how, why that's, you know, when you say Comignol, how would you spell that in English? I always, I have to Google it every time and, and find out, um, or like Guidor, which is like the wind, Gui is like wind and Dor is like the Irish word for like water. It's an older word, we use Ishka more often now, but Dor. So like Bundor and it's the same root. But when you see it spelled in Irish, it just kind of makes sense because that's where it comes from, I guess. And in English, it's like, Guidor! Like, it's spelled so strangely. Um, it's hard to get your head around. Okay, I'll get, I'll get finish this eventually. Um, basically, it's because the English is this mad attempt at capturing the sounds of Irish. So when it's spelled, it's like double E's and A, W, all these mad ways of spelling it. So once you know the original Irish, it's better. It's easier to understand and it's better because you can understand the different words and what they mean. I'm going to post the list that I've just made as well on my blog and I'll put a link below so you don't have to watch this video every time. You can just check back through that list um, to check what the different things mean. And there's loads more but I couldn't go through them all. This video is already way too long already. And with your new knowledge now, you can look at road signs and you can see the two different languages and the place names and compare them and maybe get a new understanding of where a place name comes from. And it's not always it's not always simple and they don't always match and there's a lot of problems with them basically Ireland you know our, we have a colonial history so we were colonized and place names are very central to a place's identity and they change over time and they get changed back and there's a really interesting history there that I'd love to explain and go into more like how like Dunleary was called like Kingstown and then Cove and Cork used to be called Queenstown and then we got them all changed and we got independent and some of them went back to being what they used to be and it's all so interesting and I couldn't possibly do it in one video but it, there's information about it online so have a look if you're interested um, but yeah you can look at the place names now and kind of understand them a bit better and you can learn so like there's a place called Cherry Orchard for example I was cycling by um, and I didn't like I wouldn't use the word cherry in Irish every day but when I saw Cherry Orchard and then underneath in Irish Gert na Shilini I was like oh I guess Shilini is cherries in Irish so you're kind of you can just use it as like a learning resource as well for yourself, um, looking at the place names. A little game for yourself. Um, okay, and as a final word, Irish place names have a status in Ireland and you can use them instead of the English, so don't be afraid to do that. And I fully support using the Irish. You know, people don't realise you live in Ireland. Sometimes when I give my address and it's in Irish, they're like, how can you use that? And I'm like, well, yes, because <laughs> this is Ireland. And anyway, it's the, it's the original word quite often and like it's nice to be able to use it and to understand it. 
Um, you can register your own address in Irish, so you can get deliveries, you know, you can get your post in Irish, like with your bank or your bills and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it will come to your door. Sometimes on post uh, is not the best with it, but I think the more people that use the service and that actually use it, the better. And I think with air code, they'll be able to find your house anyway, so. And if you don't know what your address will be in Irish, you can find out on loganum.ie. It's the website I mentioned before. I'll link it below. It's a great website with loads of information about place names and um, just like how to pronounce them and what they mean. And th it has the Irish for all the different places in Ireland, as far as I know. I always use it for sending letters to people. Like if they gave me their English address, I just put it into, I put it into Loganum, get it in Irish, and then I can send it to them in Irish. Okay, so that has been place names in Irish according to me. I hope it was useful. If you have any interesting facts about place names, oh, there's so many interesting facts about place names, um, especially in Ireland because they have such hilarious histories. Like Kilwanton, look up what that means in Irish. Um, there's so many things I want to say about place names, but I can't say them all. So I hope I did a good enough job in this video. Sorry about all the dogs at the start. I'll figure out in editing if they, that was okay or if it's all sniffing and scratching and me touching the dogs. Um, so that has been What the Fuckle for this week, where I answer your questions about the Irish language. And if you have any questions about Irish, please send them in. Slán!